Well, hi everybody. You know, many of you seen my vintage P80 slash F80 slash T33 names as it's also known by be restored, crashed, repaired, recrashed, and repaired again. You know, for some reason, when the engine quit, it just would not fly or glide and always did snap rolls and went straight in. You know, I don't know what makes me have this burning desire to fix things that don't work, but I do. I guess it comes from the RF-4Bs I worked on in the Marine Corps. You know, when wire bundles or equipment got shot through or failed, we simply had to fix them. No questions asked, we did whatever it took. There was no running out and buying a new one. I also live by the motto that you can do all the show-off stuff in the sky, but if you can't land, that all means nothing. Well, this vintage jet has a Rossi internal combustion engine running a Birojet ducted fan and puts out about eight and a half pounds of thrust. Well, during the repair this time, I looked for things that I probably wouldn't look at, you know, that could cause the crashes that I didn't look at before. And what I found was a soft elevator that was going neutral under load. So I reinforced the servo, beefed up the push rods, and added a longer servo arm and made it more linear. I also added a secondary tank to act as a feeder so no air would get sucked in causing the engine to lean out and quit. Well, then I spent many hours trying to find out where the CG was on this airplane but just couldn't find it. I can't even find out who the manufacturer was. You know, it had to be in or around 1979 because of the Birojet manufactured by Byron Originals. So if anybody knows the manufacturer of this plane, I'd sure be obliged to find out. I also spent a whole lot of time, I mean much time, talking to my friends Derek, Nadine, and Chad who are all involved with real planes and picked their brains about CG on swept symmetrical wings. I spent many hours looking online too. I couldn't find anything, not a single thing about the CG for this particular plane, not even the real plane. I had a long conversation with John Simone who also built many planes, taught me to fly helicopters and built some of the F-16s for the movie Blue Thunder. So taking all that info and making the best educated guest, including building a balancer, I wound up adding 5 ounces of weight to the nose. I also added an ounce of BBs and epoxy to the right wing to compensate for the epoxy and bondo I added to the left wing to put that broken landing gear back in. Well this jet has turned into a real labor of love, but my heart pounding, I made my third flight attempt tonight. Here's how it went. Remember, crashing is part of the learning curve. Coming down the runway. Okay, coming around one more time.
Not even a scratch this time. <laughs> Beat it again. Oh, third time's a charm. After that flight, I'm going to relax with a little helicopter flying. Well, thanks for CG Info, everybody, especially John Simone, for which this flight is dedicated to. He knows all about CG locations after I crashed his tail-heavy A4D Skyhawk in 1980.